Hey everybody! So I decided to do um, a hair tutorial for you which is more of like a natural curly style instead of um, more put together curls and I love these because these are probably the longest lasting curls without using any product. Um, I love doing these kinds of, of tutorials first of all it's the, these are really fast to do well they're fast to do in a, in a in the sense like the manual work is is fast um, but th the waiting time is longer so basically the, this is a hairstyle for your hair when it's uh, damp not wet but damp and you're you know want to let it sit overnight I, I do I use my mannequin head you could put it on anything you could put it on you know your carpet or uh, a towel or whatever I just find it easier to put it on my mannequin head so that's what I'm going to be using but I like when I put a style in my hair I like to keep it in for a little while and these are actually it ended up being a little bit it's looser because it's a few days later and I haven't worn them every day since I first did this but what you do is you just use these little things here oh I had extra ones and I didn't even know that's disappointing so this is the package that I got um, there are two different ones that I had in here. It comes like this. And what these, what these are, they're, it's called Loose Waves um, Pillow Soft Rollers. So they look like this. Like these come in a package of 10. And I got these, did I say I got these at a dollar store? I think I did. Basically they look like this. And you open them up and they have a wire in them that bends. And it has a little pillow on the inside of it. So basically I just used these for my whole head. I ran out, so I'm going to probably need to buy one, at least one more package of these, which these were from the dollar store, so they were like $2 for 10 And I really like these for my extensions. It's going to be such a long intro, I'm so sorry. But I like to give information, like I feel really bad, but I always, I feel like I have to give you guys information to let, to let you know why I'm doing things because... Um, it makes a difference. When you let your hair air dry, it has like a natural or like bounce to it. It's hard to explain. It is really loose. It's loose when you let it air dry. Rather than if you blow dry it and you're pulling it and the air is drying it straight, then that has more of like a coarse, it, it's holding it down. It's holding it straight. So when you let it air dry, it, and even if you have straight hair, it, 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 it dries loosely. So when you manipulate your hair when it's wet, it has better chance of holding that style in, in, in it. And I don't like to use products on my hair, so I love when I can do hairstyles without using heat or products or anything like that. And this is the hairstyle where I've had it since, what, Saturday today is Wednesday. Honestly, you're going to say these are probably the longest curls I've had in my hair that stayed really, like, curly, even especially on the underneath, because the underneath tends to straighten first. And this is without using any product. Now... If you're if you're gonna do this on your own hair that you're not wearing extensions, I find that these are gonna be really good too because I have slept with these on my hair. They're not the most comfortable thing ever. It's not like you're not wearing anything on your head, but it is better than using hot rollers. Sorry, my phone just went off. They're more comfortable because they have a pillow in it, so it's not like the worst thing ever to sleep on. You're just gonna want to make sure that you let your hair completely dry before you take them out, or else. Uh, I had it at the bottom, like my top rows were a lot more curly than my bottom after I took them out because these were, were still a little bit damp. So anyways, I think I got, I covered everything that I wanted to cover. So let me get into this tutorial before I talk your head off and yeah, let's go. So basically it's going to look like this. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to take your little pad thingy here and you're going to want to take about a one inch, one inch section and start from the bottom. Okay, so you're going to want to make sure that your your hair is damp, um, not super soaking wet because we're going to leave this overnight. We don't want it to still be wet in the morning. So you just take your little thing, pad thing here, put it underneath and wrap it around. And just keep wrapping it very lightly because you don't want it too tight because if you do it too tight then it's going to be harder to dry. And also, it will be it'll be really really a tight curl. So you don't want if you don't want a really tight curl, then don't do this. And then you just fold these two ends over, and you leave it like that. And then you just do the next one, same thing. So you just want to make sure that it's held really flat and nice. And you wrap it around. Make sure the ends are tucked in flat. 
and just keep making sure. So, so really lightly, and then do that again. So then you have three, and basically I do this to the rest of the head, um, and then let it air dry till the morning, and then I should have curly hair. So I'll get back when I'm finished. So if you don't have any of the um, little cushions or like little rags, they're kind of like rag curls. If you don't have anything like that, you can use bobby pins. And I'm, the reason why I'm using bobby pins is because I ran out of these. I only bought 20 of them, which I think I need to go get one more pack. They're just by goodie. I'm just going to take some wider sections, like a little, like bigger than an inch I've been taking for the rest of them. Take a curling iron that's around the same size. This is a one inch curling iron. And make sure it's not on. Make sure it's because the hair's wet. You don't want it to be on. Um, so make sure it's still cold. And then wrap the hair around the curling iron like this. And then just twist it in. Not, not clamping it. Make sure you don't clamp it or else this is not really going to work. And then like this, you just hold it all very loosely and then slide this out of the curl like that so then just push that back in there so then you'll have a curl without having to use one of these things and it should be around the still the same size as this piece is this is the finished look. I'm going to let it dry overnight and then I'll take them out and I'll show you guys then. Now what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to blend your hair with the extensions. Obviously if you have long hair and you don't, you don't, you're not wearing extensions, you're not going to need to do this. But basically what I do is, um, you can put your hair in curlers like I showed you with the rest of the hair. Um, the only problem with that with my hair, I would only suggest doing that if, is if you have the same type of hair as the extensions. Like, this extension hair is Chinese hair, so my hair is European hair, and you might not realize there's a difference, but there's, um, different, my hair is very fine, like each strand is very, very fine, whereas each strand of the, um, the Chinese hair is, is coarse, so if you were to compare these next to each other, the, my hair would be much much finer so and my hair it curls very very easily my my natural hair or it is already kind of has a wave to it so any and which is not always a good thing is because it's so fine and um, I have a lot I have a lot of hair but fine hair I'll get into like a whole video about different t types of hair and different textures and stuff like that later um, but I'm just saying that because I tried using the curlers on my hair and it my hair honestly were like little tiny ringlets like this and I don't know if I, I don't know what happened but it looked <clears throat> I looked like a poodle it was kind of ridiculous I should have filmed it I really should have I should have like taken a picture of something but it was hilarious so I couldn't do that with my hair so I'm gonna have to use um, a curling iron for my own hair but like I said if you have different if you have coarser hair than mine um, which is really hard to keep my hair straight though because it bends so easily so easily so if I you know, manipulate it any way, put it behind my ear or anything, it automatically bends to that shape and it's not, it's not always good. But anyways, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just take this, I think it's a three quarter inch curling iron. This one's by Conair. And then I'm just going to take, um, bigger sections of my hair like this and I'm just going to curl it backwards like this for like 10 seconds and then just let it go and it should have a similar curl because all these curls are kind of flowing one way that's what I'm going to be doing with my hair as well so I'm just going to be taking bigger chunks and just doing this to my whole head and then just put pull my fingers through it just so it meshes with the extension hair so I think with that I might have needed to use like bigger foam pads or take bigger sections of my hair, but I think probably bigger foam pads would have worked better. Um, because this is more natural looking type of hairstyle, uh, you don't have to worry about it being perfect because it's just supposed to be kind of acting like it's your natural waves. <clears throat> so I'm just going to work that through my hair. And I'm going to part it on this side. So 
So if you're noticing that your hair is a little bit frizzy, all I like to do is just take some Moroccan oil, which I should open my other one because this one's running out. Yeah, thank God I got the other one just in time. Oh gosh, this one is completely run out. And I just like to take a little bit of Moroccan oil and just smooth it through the hair. That way it gives it a more smoother look instead of frizzy. And it makes it look more natural. So thank you guys so much for watching this tutorial. I hope you really liked it. Like I said, this is probably one of my most favorite. It's really long lasting curl that is, is still soft. Like it doesn't dry out. It doesn't get tangled at the back of your head, which I hate. Um, I really, really, this is probably one of my favorite easy looks. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye! Whoa, like I'm going crazy right now with my words.